Welcome to part two of this six part um, video series. Okay, so the second cue you want to, you may want to uh, watch out for when deciding who you want to work with and who gets to work with you is to notice how do you feel right after the first discovery call with let's say a coach right so the discovery call is a call in which um there's no, no commitment yet that has uh, been uh, discussed it's just a a meeting in which we get the coach gets to um, clarify any questions you may have and it's just uh, noticing, discovering, feeling into, is this a good match? Can we actually work together? Now, after those calls, more than excitement, you may want to consider to actually feel a sense of peace and calmness. Now, let me explain why that is important. So, of course, uh, when, we, when we feel like uh, we really found our person, we found our mentor, our coach, uh, we obviously, you want to be, ex we, we get excited, it's like, oh, this is it, this is it. And that is, of course, that is fine. Now, um, I'd like to really encourage you to really feel into it because sometimes the sense of excitement is more a sense of activation, which can result from someone having picked at our insecurities, right? And... Um, so you want to be careful, uh, we as coaches or care providers are not here to pick out your insecurities. We um, are here to, uh, of course, support and help you in what you are struggling with, but that's, uh, it's not our place to take advantage of certain wounds you may have so that you work with us. Um, and so a way in which you can notice if that's happening is um, noticing how how you feel after a first session and so peace and calmness um, is um, a good cue on uh, it's a good green flag because that can mean that the coach was able to create a safe space in which your nervous system could regulate and your mind could organize And so that's how um, I break when we are in a regulated state, that's how we feel. We feel a sense of, um, of peace, of calm, of embodiment. So we are truly here in our bodies and in the present moment, actually having a real actual conversation. So the coach and the, um, the potential client are actually in the same space, are actually having uh, an actual like the same conversation. So being present would mean um, that as we are as as we are talking with the coach, for example, we're not we are not agitated. We are not um, having a hundred thoughts running through our mind. We are not bored. We're not like looking at the at the watch. We are not distracted. Um, when all of that is going on. Uh, that's a good indicator into um, our mind being disorganized. Uh, that's how it feels, right? And for our nervous system to be dysregulated. So when our nervous system is regulated and our mind is organized, both mind and body sink in together and a deep state of focus and flow and connection and report between two people is actually possible. <sighs> now, a, a coach or a service provider that is trauma-informed has um, a awareness of his or uh, her own nervous system and uh, her own mind and um, knows how to come into a space and provide a space in which they themselves are regulated grounded, organized, and so they invite that person into that state with them. So there's a co-regulation that happens 
and um, you know that the, the brain waves of both people sync. And so there is an actual exchange that is not only transactional that is happening. That is a space in which you have uh, the possibility of actually feeling seen, of actually feeling heard. And when we leave a space in which we were safe, meaning, again, that our nervous system could settle and our mind could settle, we feel peace. In a sense of wholeness, in the sense of we are actually here in the present moment. We're not like at like 3,000 uh, in 3,000 like different places at a time. Point. So to summarize, how do I feel after a session? And what you may look out on, you know, if you want to decide how you'd like to feel, that would be a green flag is sense of calm, a sense of peace, more than excitement. Be careful with the excitement. All right. See you in part three.